Hello everyone. I'm Satyajit. In this demonstration, we'll explore key concepts related to Red Hat satellite and capsule upgrades. I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step upgrade process for Red Hat satellite and capsule. Why sharing pro tips to help you avoid common pitfalls using the Red Hat satellite upgrade helper. Let's dive in. Red Hat satellite upgrade helper app is available on the Red Hat customer portal. The Satellite Upgrade Helper provides step-by-step -step guidance tailored to your current version. It offers specific upgrade instructions and prevention steps for known issues to ensure a smooth transition. I recommend using this tool for an interactive and customized upgrade experience. If your Red Hat Satellite version is 6.10 and you want to upgrade to the latest version, you must follow a sequential upgrade path. The upgrade steps are as follows. Since Red Hat Satellite 6.11 is available for RHEL 7 and RHEL 8, it requires a two-step upgrade. First, upgrade the satellite from 6.10 to 6.11 on RHEL 7. Next, upgrade the base operating system from 7 to 8, either using Leap or by taking a backup of satellite on RHEL 7 and restoring on a fresh RHEL 8. Following this, proceed to upgrade to version 6.12 on RHEL 8 then to 6.13 and sequentially to the latest version. It is important to adhere to this sequence as direct upgrades between non-consecutive versions are not supported. In this demo, we will be upgrading from 6.15 to 6.16. Skipping any steps could lead to complications such as failed upgrades or data loss, including potential database corruption. Always ensure you have backups and carefully follow the upgrade steps provided by Red Hat for each version. Click Next to view the removed and deprecated functionalities in the upgrade release. Here's a summary of those changes. The Satellite Upgrade Helper provides an overview of Removed Features Deprecated Features You can review them for clarity. Click Next to check the Satellite Upgrade Prerequisites. It covers Upgrade Path for Satellite Satellite 6.16 is released for RHEL 8 and RHEL 9. However, in this demo, we will only be upgrading from Satellite 6.15 to 6.16 on RHEL 8. The upgrade path includes a PostgreSQL migration from version 12 to 13. Prerequisites also covers Storage requirements, ports and firewall requirements, all necessary prerequisites have been addressed in the upgrade helper for each version to ensure a seamless upgrade process. Next, Red Hat Satellite Upgrade Environment Checks. Here, based on the setup, you need to select the options. In this demo, we will upgrade a connected satellite. So I will select connected. Yes, I have a capsule server too. Yes, for the openness cap. No, for the external database. I will not be migrating satellite to RHEL 9 at this time, so I'll select no. However, if you plan to upgrade to RHEL 9 after successfully upgrading to satellite 6.16, select yes and the upgrade helper will provide the necessary steps for the transition. Click next and the satellite upgrade helper will guide you through all the necessary steps to complete the upgrade. Simply follow the instructions and the upgrade to the next satellite version will be successfully completed. Let's connect to the satellite and start the upgrade steps. Hostname hyphen F. Command displays the fully qualified domain name of the satellite system. Satellite.example.com is the FQDN for the satellite. The subscription manager identity command displays system identity details, helping verify if the host is registered to the Red Hat portal. A connected satellite must be registered to receive updates from cdn.redhat.com. To view the configuration execute subscription manager config, which displays the current configuration settings for subscription manager, including server details, here it points to subscription.rhsm.redhat.com. Executing hammer ping command to check the core services. All the services are up and running. Before upgrading satellite, Run Satellite Maintenance Service Status to ensure all services are running. If any service has failed, restart it using Satellite Maintenance Service Restart.
to check the current satellite version. Execute RPM-QI satellite. The current satellite version is 6.15.5.1. Next, as per the satellite upgrade helper steps executing satellite maintenance self-upgrade, the self-upgrade subcommand upgrades the satellite maintenance tool to the latest version before performing a full satellite upgrades. Satellite Menton is a command line utility for managing, troubleshooting and upgrading Red Hat Satellite. It provides various maintenance tasks including system checks, upgrades and health reports. The command was executed successfully. Next, I will execute the command Satellite Menton Upgrade Check. This command is a crucial step in the upgrade process, acting as a pre-upgrade check to identify potential issues and ensure that the system is in a suitable state for the upgrade. It verifies that the system meets the prerequisites for the upgrade, such as checking disk space and other important aspects of the environment. It can also remove paused or stop tasks older than 30 days, saving database space. T helps identify any issues that could cause the upgrade to fail, allowing you to address them before proceeding. Since the upgrade check is successfully completed, proceed with the upgrade by running Satellite Maintain Upgrade Run. The Satellite Maintain Upgrade Run command performs a full satellite upgrade by verifying system readiness, verifies repository availability and enables the repositories required for the upgrade automatically. Stopping services. Updating packages upgrades all required satellite packages, OS packages and dependencies. Migrating the database if needed, applying configuration changes, restarting services, and validating the upgrade. Let's press Y to continue. The satellite upgrade process is lengthy because it involves multiple steps, package updates, database migrations, and service restarts. Additionally, the time required depends on factors like system resources, network speed to download packages, and the size of the database. To expedite the demonstration, I am fast-forwarding the upgrade's execution. The upgrade has now been completed. Executing RPM-QI satellite confirms that satellite has been successfully upgraded to 6.16.3. Next, I will upgrade the capsule by following the same approach Navigating to the Red Hat Satellite Upgrade Helper, reviewing the steps for capsule upgrade, and proceeding with the upgrade. Next, I will synchronize the new repositories required for the capsule upgrade and follow the steps as recommended in the Satellite Upgrade Helper to complete the capsule upgrade. Upgrading Red Hat Satellite and Capsule using the Satellite Upgrade Helper simplifies the process by providing a step-by-step -step guide. Reviewing the details beforehand is highly recommended to ensure a smooth upgrade. Next, log into the Red Hat Satellite GUI. Navigate to Content. Click on Red Hat Repositories. Toggle the Recommended Repositories button on, then expand the list and enable the required repositories to complete the capsule upgrade. All the repositories are enabled successfully. Next, click on Sync Status. Select the repositories and click the Synchronize Now button to sync the repositories. Post Successful Repository Sync If you use Content Views to manage updates for the Capsule Service Base Operating System, 
update the respective content views with the newly synced repositories. Then, publish and promote the updated versions. This step is skipped in this demo, as syncing repositories, publishing and promoting can be time-consuming. Next, SSH to the satellite CLI and execute hammer capsule list to list the capsules. SSH to the capsule server. Next, execute satellite maintenance service status on the capsule server to check the service status. All the services are up and running. Next, execute Satellite Maintain self-upgrade to upgrade Satellite Maintain to its next version. The Rubigem Form and Maintain package is installed from the Satellite Maintenance repository. Ensure Capsule has access to Satellite Maintenance 6.16 for Hail 8 repository. On Capsule server, verify that the Form and URL setting points to the Satellite FQDN. Next, execute Satellite Maintain Upgrade Check to determine if the system is ready for upgrade. If it does not return any errors, then perform the upgrade of the capsule by running Satellite Maintain Upgrade Run. The upgrade is complete. And since there have been no updates to core libraries or services, since the system was booted up, a reboot should not be necessary at this time. The capsule server has been successfully upgraded to 6.16.3. Post-upgrade tasks include verifying provisioning templates. If you provision from satellite and the default templates were modified during the upgrade, recreate any cloned templates to ensure compatibility and proper functionality with the latest changes. With this, we have reached to the end of the demo. Thank you.